Bring the outdoors into your decor this holiday season with Pine Cones lifestyle expert and truly a longtime friend, Jane Manzuris, is here to show us how it's done. Literally, y'all, we went to high school together. We went to high school together, which was only like seven years ago. Yeah, totally. six yeah. years yeah. ago. Yeah. We're not telling anybody that. But yeah, did you know I was so crafty in high school? No. I know, right? You were the head cheerleader. I was the head cheerleader, and I was president of our class. You were. And I know. That means I have to plan our reunion. And after school, <laughs> Jane was at home gluing together pine cones. <laughs> Fascinating array of interest it's you had. It's in like school. you know me already. I know, right? So what makes me so excited about doing crafts is that it's like this maker's movement that's sweeping the country. Right. And that it's on TV and we're talking about it. I right? know. And this is so timely because everybody wants to do something with their kids, especially here in Houston. We right. want to bring, we want to feel fall. Right. And you know what? When fall comes, we got football season. It's the start of basketball season, hockey season. We're kicking off crafting season. Let's right? do it. Okay, so pine cones, there's so many of them. They're all over the place. Instead of just passing them by, let's scoop them up and make something. Pine cones, as you know, part of nature. Yes. And sometimes little creatures like to get all cozy and snuggly inside oh, the pine yeah. cones. You gotta bake out the bugs. Oh, Which is, you do. Oh, a yeah. critical step. My mom brought home all these pine cones one year, what put them on the tree, and all these little bugs hatched. Yes. Exactly. So you don't make your pine this. cones. So how long do you bake them? Uh, you put it one, on a 150 temperature foil lined baking sheet for about an hour. For okay. about an hour. Yeah. 150 is critical because you don't want to burn them up, folks. Exactly. <laughs> you know this. I love that you Merry know Christmas. this. Merry Christmas. Yes. Very good. So then once they open a little bit and then and they cool off, then you're ready to craft. So cool. let's move into this garland that's right here in front. Super easy craft to do with the kids. You're gonna glue the pine cones right on a piece of twine. I love that. You can tie it on the twine. I glued mine on the twine, and guess what? Paint the edges, add some bows and embellishments. When the season changes, you can change out those bows. That's so, so easy. I know. I really love good. it. And yeah. it's a great gift, too. I love stuff like that to give to neighbors and teachers, too. And what now, about these little turkeys? Yes. These are, these are hilarious. Placeholders? These can be placeholders. I love that you said that, Courtney, because you could put someone's name, and that could be at your table. You can just put these at everyone's table without having a placeholder. It's sort of like wherever you want to sit. But let's make one. Let's do it. Let, grab one of those pine cones right over there. Okay. And what you're going to do, it's going to take one. I've cut out some cardstock or some fancy Fa or fabric, it's not fabric, it's some fancy paper. And you're gonna put them around, you just shove it in there. Using and you just, just use some regular glue. Just yeah. regular Elmer's glue, like exactly. a white school glue. Yes, or if you wanna get fancy, you can use some hot glue. If you, if you don't, can't wait, and Thanksgiving is happening in a matter of moments. Right. But you're gonna fill in all of those turkey feathers. Okay. And then you're gonna put on your googly eyes, oh. because a day without googly eyes is a day wasted. I love a good googly eye. Exactly, a house without a googly eye is not a craft room at all. So you're gonna put your googly eyes on, and when it's drying, I would lay it flat on its back. Which one uh, do I go? Where um, do I go? Well, let's go like this. If we put it this way, and we know where we're gonna put these in, just put it right up in there, or maybe that oh, one. Oh yeah, that one's you a see? good one. And then you're gonna okay. wanna let it set there to dry. Okay. Got it. And then yeah. we can't forget about the little red thing on turkeys that I don't remember. I like to just call it the gobble gobble. The gobble gobble. Yeah, so just bend that twist tie in half and you're gonna wrap it around the nose. So this is a little like pipe cleaner action. Exactly. So what cute. a cool idea. And you know what? You pro you could make a Rudolph the red nosed reindeer you too. Could. You could do lots of things. Make little creatures for all of your holiday decorations. I and we're love we're it. gonna get to that in a second because I have more creatures over there. A wreath. We gotta talk You've gotta about the wreath. You gotta do the wreath. So a wreath is timeless. You can do this for Thanksgiving. You can do this for holiday. I've bleached these pine cones and that's what's so special about this wreath. What you're gonna do is take your pine cones and put them in a bleach bath. So it's like half water, half bleach. Okay. Put them all in there, put a plate over the top. So they don't pop, pop up. up. You, it's like you, it's I mean, like I you was, are a DIYer. You even separated it Because I was doing the exact same project <laughs> last night. <laughs> this is great. It's funny. Leave them in the, the bleach bath overnight. Because then, you, can you see how all that color is drawn out of that? Now, here's, this is a non-crafter. <laughs> am I still baking it and then putting it in the bleach? Yes. Or you, the bleach you is bake it. Regardless. Ba we all need it. to we be don't, baked. We don't want okay. bugs. Okay. Yeah. Wait, and can I just show the back here? Yeah. In case people are wondering how this is put on. So you just have this circle from the craft store, right? Yeah, any craft store. You just get a flat base. You could probably even cut one out of cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you really want to be thrifty and then make this a totally free project. All right. And then hang yeah. it on your door. That's beautiful. Such a great. Cute. I love the color of yep. them. Okay, now we're painting. Well, actually, let's talk about, we were talking about other things to make with pine cones. We're just going to show you the, the angels on the Christmas tree. Those are so cute. So you talked about making 
making turkeys and you talked about maybe making something else well let's make some angels on Jane, the Christmas those tree. are so cool Isn't that sweet? so it's just a little bit more pipe cleaner some ribbon and then you just make the arms and they sell those little round heads at, yeah. the, at the store and then it's so easy okay Dollar it's got to be a lightning round we only have about a minute okay left. now we're painting again okay and what you're gonna do the super easiest uh, centerpiece of all time Paint your pine cones, put them in a glass jar. You're just going to do the edges. Oh, just the tip. There you go. Oh, wow. I thought this was ketchup and mustard. <laughs> it could be. But it's not. This is just regular craft paint? Just craft paint. And then you're going to do all the edges. You can do ombre. You can do any color you want. And the best thing, too, you can do glitter and glue. Oh. And then you've got a little bit of glam and rustic no, together. you're speaking my exactly. love language. Exactly. And it's just the tip, right? It's just the tips. Very good. And you're going to do up that whole thing. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I oh. can't believe I'm crafting with you on TV and this we went to high school. I know. And by the way, here's Go an Andrew. example of the sparkles you just mentioned. Yeah. The glue and the uh, sparkles. little sparkles. Love that. Um, well, I want to get to everything. This is just a styrofoam cone that I wrapped in paper, and then you glue those pine cones on to make a tree because it looks like bristles. I love it. That's amazing. And if you want an uh, all-year-round craft, you can cut the bottoms of the pine cones off, glue them onto a piece of barn wood. This is like a barn door, or you can just get a piece of wood from the craft store and make flowers out of them. Adorable. Isn't that and cute? last but not least, you have some fire starters. Fire here starters. I know you guys end. talked about this. I'm going to move these over here. Okay. You have this is this is candle. Like this is a, a wax. Candle you're wax. You're going to roll this. Yep. You're going to roll this into the candle wax. Okay. And make sure you get all sides, and I'm going to have you just place it on here, so we don't get the table dirty. Okay. Move our wreaths. There our you go. Yep. This. Roll go. that in the wax and just okay. set it there to dry a little bit. And you got to do it when the wax is wet. And the finished product, by the way, we should point out is down there at the edge of our countertop. But essentially, you can use these to throw in as kindling. Absolutely. Very good. And when this dries, you'll do another round. And then you'll okay. do another so it gets layered. And then it gets that white look. You can also sprinkle a little salt on there so it looks like it's a little bit like festive snowy. and snowy. Aww. Exactly. Thank you, Jane. And that wax is going to keep that fire burning. I love it. Thanks I love so seeing much. you. Thank Thanks you Thanks so much for, for coming me. in. Thanks. To keep up with Jane and for more information on all of these DIY ideas, visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website.